Mamaronek, NY, in the 14 years since the United States Open was last held at Wing Foot Golf Club, which is probably the most feared course to host a major championship, technology and advanced strength training have revolutionized the game. Tee shots routinely soar 50 yards farther than they did even a decade ago. With the US Open returning to Wing Foot on Thursday, some in the golf community wonder if the modern golfer's cutting-edge arsenal might be the formula for taming, or at least mitigating, the club's rigorous challenge of narrow fairways, ankle-deep rough and dastardly sloped greens. John Rahm, the world's second-ranked golfer who is just 25 years old, scoffed at such conjecture. Like Mike Tyson said, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face, Rahm said. It's the same thing here. Most in the world of professional golf are instead bracing for another four days of wing foot humbling the field. As David Fierty, the former tour professional and current NBC golf analyst said, I expect a lot of whining. Indeed, the new era players who are now the face of the sport seem to be preparing themselves for a 97-year-old golf course that mocks their contemporary tactics. You just have to embrace it, Justin Thomas, ranked third on the PGA Tour, said. Otherwise, it's going to eat you alive. It's the hardest golf course I've ever played. But I'm not scared. I think it'll be fun. Maybe, you know, a different kind of fun. Thomas made those comments on Tuesday. With a smile he conceded, I might not think the same way at the end of the week. One illuminating exercise in the lead up to the championship has been asking players what they think the winner's final score will be. The consensus was about four shots over the course's par of 70. It is an improvement on the best score from 2006 when Greg Ogilvie's five over par performance was good enough to hoist the U Open trophy. But it's also a far cry from Dustin Johnson's winning score of 30 under par at the PGA Tour's Northern Trust about three weeks ago. And, as many players noted, the United States Golf Association, which conducts the championship and revels in devising the sternest test in golf, is well aware that last year's U Open was won with an unusually low score of 13 under par. Rahm said of the UGA, they're going to make some extra effort to be over par knowing this golf course and the history. They have a reputation to maintain. Already, in practice rounds, there have been amusing outcomes as players do battle with the lush, verdant rough, much of it just inches from the devilish, sharply breaking greens. During a practice round this week, the defending U Open champion Gary Woodland held a ball waist high and dropped it into the rough to practice his recovery technique. The ball disappeared and he and his caddy spent five minutes looking for it. It was right in front of me, Woodland said but we didn't find it until we stepped on it. The U.